This is a Boogaboo Donkey 3, and today we're going to show you how to remove all of the textiles and mount all of the textiles for the seat frame. So that means remove the seat textiles and mount the bassinet textiles, and then the reverse process as well. So then beginning with the seat unit, we're going to start by removing the canopy. And you're just going to reach here under the side and detach this adapter here on both sides. And then pull the canopy up, and uh, in that back portion, you're pulling uh, the adjustment lever out of this hole here. Then we can remove the canopy struts. So if you look here, there's like an elastic band that goes onto this little tag on the bottom of the adapter. You're just going to pull that off. The other side as well. And then these adapters uh, are attached to struts that run through the canopy. So you're just going to pull the three struts out of the adapter. And then we can just pull the rest of it out of the canopy itself. There you go. And we have the canopy textiles. Okay, moving on to the seat, I'm going to take the bumper bar off, just pressing in these internal buttons. You look at the foot of the frame. I'm going to open up these Velcros, Velcro straps. If you look under the frame, there's a little clasp here. So attach that as well. And then we can begin to pull the textiles off. And again, in the back, there's a hole in the textiles that goes over that adjustment trigger. Pulling it out. All right. And we're going to open up our safety harness. And if you reach here at the back part of this baseboard, there's another Velcro connection. So you can pull it out like this. You can begin to pull out the baseboard and um, the uh, middle buckle runs through it here, yeah? So you just want to pull out this plastic piece and turn it sideways. And this allows you to then push it down through that hole. And then you can remove it. If you like, you can also remove that central buckle then, unless you need to wash it as well. This seat doesn't have a solid backboard. It does have these uh, plastic inlays that run down here. They're not removable. And so you can actually just take the textiles now like this uh, in order to put it inside a washing machine. All right then, mounting your bassinet from scratch, you have a number of components. So this is the main fabric element of the bassinet. And uh, in here are three plastic struts. So in case you've taken this off for storage, uh, just make sure you have them. There's one here at the front like the foot, and then two at the head, yeah? So those are gonna need to be in there. They slot right in here behind these Velcro straps. All right, so two away from me, head away from me. Look at your baseboard. This is the head end, this is the foot end, and this is gonna go right inside those textiles. Press it down, and you'll notice underneath that there's these holes in the fabric for the feet to pop out. On the inside, there's a Velcro um, receiver end, I suppose, <laughs> on each side. So you're gonna want, uh, there's a Velcro strap on the textiles and that's gonna have to go over the top and hold that baseboard down, if you can see. Just like that. So line everything up, make sure that baseboard is nice and tight in there, all of the feet are out, and make sure that those Velcro straps are fixed in the proper place. Then you can take your mattress. The mattress is also set up so that you have the head here, feet there, a bit wider at the head. And you're just gonna slide that inside as well. All right, now that you have the uh, basic bassinet set up, we can start to put it onto the frame. So take your frame. Put your bassinet inside. 
Okay, and we're going to start at the foot, and again you have this plastic strut, and this plastic strut is what's going to hold, or all of those plastic struts are what's going to hold the general shape of the bassinet. And those are held up within the loop created by the Velcro strap. So you're going to press that in and take this end of the Velcro strap and tuck it in behind that plastic pin and then fix it. Now when I'm mounting uh, Boogaboo textiles onto the frames, I like to kind of go around in a symmetrical manner rather than do one side first and then the other because uh, you want it all to kind of be symmetrical at the end, right? So there we've done the foot. I'm going to spin it all the way around and I'm going to deal with the back end and then we'll do the sides. So again, you have these plastic pins, tuck it down in, pull that velcro around and use it to tuck it and hold that pin in place. There we go. These again, symmetrical. You know, both sides at the same time, so you don't have to do quite as much readjustment at the end. And when it comes to these, there's actually a little bit of a guide uh, on this plastic in the sense that there are these like raised lines and that's where it should go, yeah? On the outside of this is also that sort of receiving Velcro, and that's for the storm cover. Mount the canopy then. So you can take your canopy, you have your three struts and your two adapters. On the inside of the canopy are then going to be three like troughs in the fabric. You can start feeding these struts in. So one, and then one in the center, it's just like the white fabric underneath. And then one at the very front. I like to kind of do all three simultaneously, I find that's the easiest. Now we can fit those side adapters. So uh, these are side specific and if you folded down your canopy um, before you took it off then it should be very easy. You're going to look at this as though it clips onto the side and the canopy is folded down backwards. Yeah? That's how you know which side it is. Of course if you get it wrong then you can just swap out those adapters afterwards. Okay, All three struts go in. And then that elastic band has to go over the tag on the bottom. Doing the other side. One, two, three. going to attach it to the seat frame right here where the metal connects to this plastic part. So you can do one side, pop it over the top, and just clips on. As you follow your way around the back, there's this hole that needs to go over the adjustment trigger. And then we can clip the last side and just open it so that everything sort of evens.
itself out. Make sure it's pulled over the frame. All right, then we have the storm cover. This zips on at the foot. There's a very small zipper, just runs along the front of the foot. Pull that over. And on the sides here are Velcro that correspond with that Velcro side here on those straps. And then you can just reattach your bumper bar, which is now a handle, and you're set. All right then, removing the textiles on the bassinet, we're again going to take off the canopy. And I'm not going to remove the struts this time, you can just follow the same instructions from removing the seat textiles. by pressing in on those buttons again, attach the storm cover, zipper at the bottom there. Okay, pulling out the mattress. Now you can take the outer textiles off of the mattress so that you can just wash the, uh, the cover. And there are two mattress components here. This is to give it like a extra air ventilation, make it more breathable on the mattress. You don't need to wash those unless you have um, serious issues with mildew or something, but this can be washed. All right, then it's a matter of detaching all of those Velcro straps. two at the head, you're going to want to pull those out, put them somewhere safe, and then the one down here at the bottom, pull it out, and then it's a matter of removing the baseboard. So on either side of the baseboard is that Velcro strap, you can attach it, and you can pull the baseboard out, and then there's just the last So then when it comes to all of the textiles, both for the bassinet and the seat, you can wash them in a washing machine. We recommend using a colder wash, 30 or 40 degrees, and whatever sort of detergent you normally use for your clothes. Uh, and we do recommend that you then hang them up to dry. It's uh, very much best not to use a dryer. As far as the textiles on the side basket, as well as the shopping basket on the bottom of the chassis, uh, there are simply too many plastic components that are not removable on both items to use a washing machine. However, both are quite easy to wipe and uh, you shouldn't need to have to do any sort of really heavy duty washing, provided that you make sure that they don't you know, build up any sort of mildew or grime or so on over a very long period of time. Um, but both are hand wash only in any case. Okay, in order to mount the seat textiles then, we're gonna start by replacing the uh, central buckle as well as the baseboard. So you're gonna flip out this um, seat element and then you can slot in this board. This smaller end goes in first. Just put it in a little ways. Then you're gonna take your buckle and the white button has to be facing towards the foot. You're gonna take this little plastic piece and slot it in through these textiles. Then you need to reach in under that baseboard and pull on that. And what you're going to do is turn this sideways so that this plastic piece can slot right through that little slit in the board sideways. Like that. Pull it through and just pull it all the way out again and it'll kind of lock in place. Then you can finish pressing in or putting that baseboard inside the sleeve and then flip it backwards 
and there's a little bit of a Velcro to hold it tight down in place. All right, now we're gonna put this main seat unit onto the seat frame. So we're gonna start in the back, and if you look at the back of these textiles, there's this hole for the adjustment lever. Just put the seat over the top, and then fit it around the top side of the frame, and pull that adjustment lever or trigger through. I'm gonna be doing some fine adjustments to the top afterwards. All right, I'm gonna pull it down a bit, and we're gonna now do the foot. So there are three Velcro straps here. Start with the middle one, right in the center, and just pull it as tight as you can. Then you can do your corners. The last corner. I find that to get everything perfect on the boogie boo, even after you've kind of gotten it all together, you'll probably have to do small adjustments to make everything a little bit tighter. But there we go. Flipping this on its side. And then you have this strap here that goes underneath. So you can just connect it and then pull it as tight as you can. And then lastly, it's a matter of putting the canopy back in place. And we already showed how to mount all of the struts inside the canopy. So I'm not going to do that again. But you just want to take your canopy and clip it onto one side right here above this plastic. Pull it around over the frame as you go. When you get to that hole in the back, that goes down over the adjustment trigger. Clip the other side, and you're ready to go. So in any case, that was our guide to removing and mounting both the seat and bassinet textiles on the Boogaboo Donkey 3. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.